So I was told that the biopsy would return in two to four days. So today's day five. And that everyone I had spoke to, including the surgeon, everyone um, told me that it would be on the my chart. So I kept waiting for it to be on my chart. Never was. So long story short, today I have spoken to the uh, nurse coordinator and the doctor's office a couple times and to be truthful, I was very upset because it never showed up and I was told that it would regardless of what the news would be and um so when I called the doctor's office, the the nurse told me that um, the doctor would not give me the information over the phone. And that I would have to go in to get the, the news. And I was just so angry. And I'm not a crier. And I try not to be rude. But... It's been a very emotional day. Hey everybody, it's me, Nina. Well, I told you that I would give you the news once I found out. And what today, but I didn't really find out um, what it is yet. So the next step is I have to have a lumpectomy. And that is scheduled for... I got the paperwork here, but the, um, the seventh, excuse me. So I'm not sure about the time yet on the seventh, because if they have to call me the night before and let me know what time I go in, but, um, it is, um, it was explained to me that I could have one of two things. Um, and I'm, I might, might not pronounce these correctly, but it's the first one would be the, um, and angiolipoma lipoma angiolipoma and that you can look these things up if you want but that is more um, like to do with the fat um, cells and everything in your breast and that is not cancerous um, the second thing that it could be is called um, sarcoma and that one is cancerous, but it is not the regular breast cancer that a lot of people get. Um, that is, you know, regular breast cancer, when you hear about it, it um, goes to your lymph nodes really quickly because it is, it has to do with the, the, um, the duct, milk ducts and stuff in your breast. And most breast cancer does revolve around that. But this um, sarcoma does not. It develops in the breast tissue, the fat and the you know tissue of your breast. And um, <clears throat> when that, if it would be that, um, that does, like I said, it does not go to your lymph nodes and stuff the way that regular breast cancer does. So it doesn't spread in the same way. Um, it can go through your blood, your blood system, but it will not go through your lymphatic, lymphatic system. So there is a huge difference in that. So what they said, the, the doctor told me today, that when they go in, they'll make sure, um, she actually explained it like this, and this I'll explain it to you the same way, because to me it made a lot of sense. Okay, after I had my biopsy done, and they implanted little tiny metal markers where they took the biopsy from and that is like I explained before that if you ever have to have another mammogram or anything um, it, it doesn't affect going through like the airports or anything it doesn't affect anything but if you have another mammogram it is a marker that will show up on the film so that that person will know that you had had a biopsy done before and so what they will do for the lumpectomy is, she said, they will take like a chain. She said, like, for instance, a very thin necklace, the chain of a necklace. 
and they will put that in you know of course from the outside and it will go in and it will, they'll put it right by where those little markers are well then the doctor the surgeon she'll go in and she will take out all of that tissue and all of the surrounding tissue so that they call it's it's called so they'll get clear margins the margin being all the way around the suspicious item that's in your breast so um it will take about she said 40 minutes to an hour to do the surgery i'll actually be put out you know like a regular surgery and um but when i wake up um after i you know wake up really well i'll get to go home and she said uh it i bruised just a tiny bit from having the biopsy so she said you probably won't bruise a whole lot more but um just to have the ice and stuff on for a while and wear a supportive bra so that the the pressure you know from being tugged down from your breast will not cause the bruising to be as bad so i think that was basically it it was a really really quick um Oh, I guess I could say that if it is the cancer, the sarcoma, um, I was afraid because having such heart issues, my heart is not that great. And I've already had open heart surgery and a triple bypass, a heart attack and all that. And I was concerned about having um, radiation or chemotherapy or, you know, anything, if it would be that sarcoma. But she told me that um, I, it would actually, the radiation would not affect my heart. It wouldn't go into my heart area. It would just go into that area of the breast tissue. So, all right, Steve's back. He had stopped in here at Walmart and got just a few items um, of grocery. So I think that's all I had to share. And um, I hope you guys are having a blessed day and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Um, we came out to the the Amish place where we get oh like our flour and all that usually and they their food was smelling so good so the lunch was almost let me fix this the lunch was almost over with and they had well they had enough to serve yeah. about five or six people yeah. probably didn't they so um we I'll put a picture if I can right here of Steve's plate but, um, and I got the same thing, but oh my goodness, was it delicious? And now we're both stuffed. But, um, yeah, we're heading home. It's starting to snow again. So it is, for anybody questioning or well, wondering. You gotta let it go down. It said it was 39, which it ain't Oh, no. <laughs> no. It was about 26, I think. Okay, well, that's a lot better than what it was, because it got, ooh, cold overnight. Yeah, but it's supposed to get down to a one again tonight. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. I think so. Yeah. Or maybe that's tomorrow night. Anyway, I'm sure it's cold all over the place. Except for Florida. Hey, at least. No, it was cold oh. for a lot of them. Or Arizona. Yeah. Um, at least it's not earthquakes. My niece that lives in Haiti, her and her family, they had 25 or 26 earthquakes the other day. And they were measuring around four something and five something. Oh. <laughs> And um, they say, whoops, they say that it is still the aftershocks, that's okay, it's still the aftershocks from that big one that they had a couple months ago. Yeah. So that's, that's horrible, isn't it? I mean, it's scary for all of them. So they have safe guards set up, like a glass with a spoon on it, and their floors are concrete, so... In the middle of the night, if um, if an earthquake would would happen to hit, and it would knock that spoon from the glass, and then they would hopefully wake up, so they could all scramble out of the house. That's you know that's a scary thing being in a concrete house. So, all right, I'm gonna turn around and let you look outside. I can't even hardly see the snow falling. It's drifting across this road. Though. It sure is.